stopping by. Today I'm going to give you my initial thoughts on my brand new Thunder Nova 24 CO2 laser. Stick around and we'll check it out. All the components that you'll see on this machine are upgraded from the wiring to the cabinet construction. This cabinet is very strong, heavy, durable. It's a lot thicker than uh, the entry level Chinese models. Uh, there's a lot of thought given to the design. Uh, so quality components in general is one of the things that I was really looking for. Excellent customer service was another thing that I was really wanting to find because I'm new to laser technology. So I knew I was going to have all kinds of questions or there'd be things come up that I needed some help on. And I didn't want to have to wait days for somebody to get back to me uh, before I knew the answer. I can tell you I've uh, asked for help all probably four or five times, not because this, I've had a problem with this machine, it was just questions that I had about what I was doing to make sure I didn't damage a machine, and their reps were very responsive. I mean, I've uh, contacted them in the evening times, on the weekends, I've been completely impressed on how well they respond to their customers. So that's been... Uh, They've exceeded my expectations, there's no doubt about that. The warranty that you get on the machine is another thing that I thought was great. A lot of times you'll buy a machine and you'll have a 90 or a 6 month warranty. And the problem with that is you really don't know all the way around your, the machine by that amount of time. And so I really think that the 2 year warranty is something that's, that's um, worth the extra money. Plus, the other thing is that that warranty also includes a one-year warranty on the tube, and it also includes a warranty for the chiller, the 5,000 chiller, that comes with the laser that's part of the price. Usually, you'll find that that chiller is going to be an additional uh, cost, so be sure you figure that in. So let's start with the front doors. First of all, you can see this top door comes all the way off. Surprisingly enough, that door is pretty darn heavy. It's very well made. This door here, every door that you see on this uh, laser has this nice feature here where you can just pull this back and take this door off. So for some reason it was hanging down and you need to get in here and work on this machine. For some reason you don't have to worry about uh, messing with this. You can just go ahead and pull this back and take it off. And that feature uh, is on every door on this laser. I thought that was, that was a great thing. You've got a uh, shelf in here to catch your materials. So your materials don't land on your belt or get mixed up with your uh, Z adjustment belts. That's kind of nice. Um, easy to clean. Fit and finish are great. You can see that they've got rubber bumpers on everything. Everything locks up nice. Solid. The other thing to keep in mind is Thunder provides both. Not only the honeycomb, but also the aluminum uh, bars that are called go across the bed so you don't have to uh, these are not extra those these come with the machine so both of them come with the machine the other thing I really like about it is uh, one of the biggest problems you have with a lot of lasers if this doesn't have the ability to attach to anything this can actually move around which can be a problem as your machine is moving this has got uh, locating pins on this honeycomb that drops down into this uh, into this frame and therefore it goes back to the same spot every time rock solid. Two other features I really like about this machine the first one is this has a beam combiner uh, most people that do uh, a lot of laser work really appreciate an accurate uh, red light indicator on kind of where the laser beam is going to be. Um, this comes from the factory with the beam combiner so you don't have to add that uh, later La later excuse me works really well the other thing is the autofocus in this particular case all you've got to do is place your material on the uh, on the bed tell it to autofocus it it senses the material steps it down now it's just perfect six millimeters from your top of your work surface to the lens. The other thing that I like about this machine while we're here, if for whatever reason I would want to manually focus this machine, 
Um, and let's say that I had a thicker material, didn't want to use the uh, autofocus. I have the ability to loosen this up, drop this down, and manually focus this lens. Because um, in some cases we might not want to be in perfect focus. So, two features I really like. On the left hand side of the machine, this is another feature that I really didn't pay attention to when I bought this machine, but I really am coming to like it. Um, I have shop air plugged into this laser, so it's connected to a 60 gallon uh, tank uh, in another location in my shop. And what this is all about is you have low volume air and high volume air. So if for whatever reason, let's say I'm doing leather or something that takes a smaller amount of air volume, I can push this button and it'll activate the valve and uh, then I can dial in the regulation here if I need to um, and go on with my project. So I can actually test, number one, that the air is working for both low volume and high volume. Um, one thing that you'll uh, want to know if you're using light burn, basically you turn the air off and that'll give you the low volume. If you turn the air assist on, that'll give you the high volume for cutting. I will tell you, if you're thinking about doing uh, something like this, the shop air is really a way to go. You can um, cut quite a bit thicker material using shop air anywhere from 30 to 40 PSI compared to the, uh, to the uh, factory air that they provide. And it's a lot quieter. But this feature here, I was, uh, I'm um, beginning to like a lot only because I have the ability to set my air pressures if I need to. And it's right here, it's easy to do. On the right hand side of your bed, you'll see a seven pin adapter for a rotary setup. The nice thing about this is you drop your Z, you plug in your rotary attachment. Uh, uh, Thunder sells a special rotary for this particular machine so you can do tumblers and mugs. And it senses it, it doesn't deactivate the existing drives so you can move your head around. Um, so that's a great feature. You don't have to worry about unplugging any uh, drivers. Um, nice and clean. This is on the right hand side of the machine up top. Just wanted to give you a quick glimpse, excuse me, glimpse at the uh, servo motor there. You can see all the wiring is nice and tight and clean. Everything's marked. You got all your uh, grommets around all the openings. Don't ever have to worry about any wire problems. On to something that I didn't really pay too much attention to when I bought the machine, but I'm growing to like it, is the uh, indicator light. It'll show green when the machine's not operating and red what it is. What I like about it is if I'm across the shop and I'm doing other things, at a glance I can look over here and see whether the laser's done doing its thing or not. Kind of a nice feature. Half. You will notice everything is very well marked. Every wire has a tag. It's got a smart board right here where you can interrogate system problems. You can change the uh, how long your fan runs, how long your compressor runs. Uh, gives provides some diagnostic information. Nice and clean. The other thing that you'll notice is right here on the back, um, a lot of the other machines don't have adequate wiring where your compressor and your uh, fan plugs in. Matter of fact, most of people will tell you not to use them on the less expensive machines. Um, these are appropriately wired and you don't have to worry about plugging your accessories to the back of this machine, which Keeping keeps it a quarter half. There's your power supply for your laser tube. The other thing that uh, a lot of people don't realize, this laser does have a milliamp gauge. Okay, it's not on top, it's tucked underneath here, but a lot of guys are adding these gauges to their um, laser so they can monitor kind of the output and what's going on. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tour. As you can see, this is a real nice machine and I think I'm going to get a lot of good use of it out of it.